Hey everyone, I'm here today with the 2024 Nissan Rogue Platinum. If you're looking for an SUV that perfectly blends sportiness, luxury, and tech, this is gonna check a lot of boxes. The exterior gets an updated front and rear look. The interior, which was already pretty premium, gets a tech bump with a brand new screen and Google built in. You're gonna love the ProPilot Assist feature. It can really lend a hand with highway traffic. And when it comes to safety, Nissan has you covered with their standard Safety Shield 360, which can really help bring peace of mind. So I'm excited to check out these features. Let's hop in and get started. This is the Rogue Platinum trim. It's the top of the line, so it's pretty decked out. It's clear that the design here is all about user friendliness, but it's also got a high-end look. It's got this nice matte wood tone finish in the places you're always touching, so it's less likely to show fingerprints. The center monitor is bigger and integrated into the dash, which looks nice, but also serves a purpose. It's at an optimal height to show all your info right at a glance. It's got a leather-wrapped D-shaped steering wheel that's pretty popular right now, and it gives a little bit of a sporty feel. The added bonus is you get a little extra room right down here, and it's more comfortable for taller drivers. The Rogue seats are pretty plush. For starters, they have this beautiful diamond quilted pattern that not only looks great, but is very comfortable. They're heated with eight way power, so you can really dial in your driving position. The front seats and rear window seats are zero gravity design. It's a space inspired technology that adds support and helps create a feeling of weightlessness with the goal of reducing fatigue. Who wouldn't want that on a road trip? Check this out. Hello. Look at the size of this sunroof. This is one of the bigger ones that I've seen and it has a handy shade so you can decide just how much sun your sunroof has. It really opens up the interior, especially the second row, making it one of the best seats in the house. I like cars with tech that just get it right from the get-go and the Nissan Rogue Platinum really delivers on that. You get pretty advanced features that are super seamless and make life easier, not more complicated. This is the all new 12.3 inch high resolution touchscreen. And what it does is it puts Google built in right here. No smartphone needed. That means you have Google Maps, Google Assistant, and access to the Google Play Store already built in. And if you wanna use your cell phone for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, you still can, even wirelessly. You already know what Google Maps does. And now with integrated Google Assistant, your car can be, well, like the name says, an assistant. You can ask the car to create reminders, play music, or do things like this. Hey Google, set the temperature to 70 degrees. Okay, changing the temperature to 70 degrees. You can pretty much talk to your car like you talk to your phone. And with the Google Play Store, you can install some of your favorite apps. And check this out. The digital dashboard on the Rogue puts all the info right where you want it. And you can even move the gauges to the side to make space for maps or music. There's even a head-up display that allows you to put key information like turn-by-turn -turn directions, your posted speed next to the speed you're traveling, or even the song that you're playing on the radio. There's also available in-vehicle data and Wi-Fi in here that can connect up to seven different devices. It's perfect for streaming music, videos, games, and keeping those kids in the back totally entertained. The four USB-C ports also make sure everybody's charged up for the whole drive. The designers at Nissan are total pros when it comes to integrating smart storage into all their vehicles. Everybody needs a place to put their stuff. Check this out. Boop. They call this a butterfly armrest for obvious reasons. It's super convenient and it even lets kids in the backseat grab snacks easily too. Now, here's something you don't normally see on a car. Storage under the center console. Rogue's compact transmission makes room for some bonus storage right there. And this is typically unused space, but now it's a smart spot for holding water bottles, tissue boxes, or other kinds of things that would normally be in your cup holders or rolling around on the floor. And then there's all the usual places. There's lots of door storage for oversized bottles. Even the cup holders in this car have been well thought out. They're connected. So not only do they hold water bottles, but they can also hold a phone. This grippy spot down here is a wireless charger and it's angled to hold your phone in place. Sunglasses go right up here. Now let's jump in the back and check out the rear passenger area. The Rogue takes everyone's comfort into consideration, and it becomes obvious that they get families the minute you open up this door. Check out this opening, it's almost 90 degrees wide. The opening was designed with more operating space to load or unload a child. Look back here, the door armrest is notched, so you get a little extra room right where you need it. 
If you look down here, the door sill is also tucked in. So you're less likely to bang those shins and the opening is also tall, which means less ducking or tweaking your back and kids or gear in and out of the car. It's a huge help with clunky child seats, just like this thing. Second row passengers get their own climate controls, a feature that's usually only on three row SUVs and minivans. And the Rogue has a handy available sunshade. So if the sun's glares are becoming a little bit too much to handle, this will help reduce direct light and keep those sleeping babies nice and happy. Yep, nice. When it comes to cargo and versatility, the Rogue Platinum here hits the sweet spot between weekend adventure and day-to-day -day practicality. It's got creature comforts I love, like this available motion-activated lift gate. Especially convenient when you have things in your hands. Another thing I love are these quick releases in the second row seat. They make loading cargo even easier. When the seats are up, you can drop this panel by sliding this section, and you get a deeper well to fit luggage. It's great because even with all the seats up, you can still carry a decent amount of cargo for times like an airport run. This system configures to help keep things from rolling around. Or there's convenient underfloor storage. It's perfect for items you always want with you, but out of the way. There's even a built-in well to snug up gallon-sized jugs, which is a great idea. You'll know if you've ever spilled milk in your car. Nissan has this back area dialed. With all the seats down, the available divide and hide storage system can help create a flat floor for long stuff to slide right in. This is cool. You can drop the middle panel to fit bike pedals, which helps keep the bike from getting squirrely and moving around. So that's a quick overview of the inside. Now let's go check out some of the advanced driving aids and safety features that this thing has. When it comes to day-to-day -day driving, Rogue's got a couple of cool technologies that are constantly adapting to your needs. It starts with Rogue's VC Turbo and CVT transmission. The engine is unique in that it literally changes shape to maximize your needs. At the end of the day, if you want power, it's a turbo. Switch over to Sport, and you'll feel the Rogue get a little more responsive. When you want to maximize that fuel efficiency, switch to Eco, and it'll help smooth out your drive. And then, for added fun in the corners, there's these, paddle shifters. They definitely add a bit of sport to this sport utility vehicle. Let's talk about all-wheel drive. You might be thinking it's just for rain or snow, and of course it's great for that, but it also shines in the sun. Rogue's all-wheel drive stays in two-wheel drive until you really need it to help maximize fuel efficiency. On all-wheel drive models like this Platinum, you get five drive modes to select from in this really nice control to dial it in. Your mode shows up in your gauges, so it's easy to keep track of. ProPilot Assist is kind of a game changer when it comes to stop and go highway traffic. Just press this button and set your speed. This one adjusts the distance between you and the car ahead of you. Check it out. I can relax my hands on the wheel and it'll help me stay centered in my lane. I can also relax my feet. And if traffic comes to a complete stop, ProPilot Assist can help bring me to a stop as well. And then get me moving again when traffic picks up. Take a look here on the digital dash. Traffic sign recognition. It's handy, especially if you're entering a school zone or other area where the speed limit might change. Parking isn't so bad with the available intelligent around view monitor helping you out. It uses four cameras, one on the front, back, and under each side mirror, and the system combines them all to provide you with two views at the same time. The green guides move and show where the rogue's going. These other ones stay stationary, which helps you judge your distance from curbs and objects and other vehicles. It helps avoid making the wheels into wheel spin art. Google it. On top of all that, Rogue has moving object detection. When you're ready to leave, it uses cameras to alert you to detected movement around the car. New for 2024, Platinum and SL Rogues get this totally genius parking hack. It's called HD Enhanced Intelligent Around View Monitor. Look how informative this is. Hit the camera button and it gives you a 360 degree view of your surroundings. Personally, I love this system because it's just one more added layer of awareness before I back out. Well, that's the 2024 Nissan Rogue Platinum. I know I covered a lot, but there's nothing like seeing it for yourself. Go check it out.